If you're doing some problem that requires you to use scientific notation, uh, it's actually very helpful to use your calculator to do some of these calculations. Um, here's how we write or express a number in scientific notation using a calculator. Uh, if you have your normal notation a times 10 to the b, then the way to type that in on a calculator is you're going to type whatever your number is a, and then there's a button which I'll show you in just a second that says ee. -E, and that's basically short for times 10 to the blank and then type your B which is understood to be your exponent for 10. So for instance if you wanted to do uh, let's say uh, 4.71 times 10 to the ninth then you would say 4.71 EE -E. you'll push this button which I'll show you in just a minute 9 not raised to the ninth but just a 9 because this part right here is handling the entire times 10 to the blank uh, portion of the scientific notation. So let's, let's take a look at it. Let me pull up my calculator here. Now you'll find that button I was referring to right here is the, it's the secondary operation for the comma. And so for instance, if you said um, 9.28 times 10 to the I don't know, third or something like that, then this would be 9280. And you see what's happened here. We've taken this decimal place and moved it right three places. One, two, three places to the right. One, two, three places. And you get 9,280. If you said 9.28EE uh, -E or times 10 to the sixth, then we'd have. Um, what, what would that be? Let's see, 9,280,000 because we'd move it to the right six places. And last example, if we had 9.28 times 10 to the negative 4, notice this would be the same as, uh, well actually that's too big, it just wants to express it like that. Let's try that again, 9.28 uh, times 10 to the negative 2. Let's try it that way. Um, that would give us 0 0.0928 because we moved it to the left two places. Now, you actually saw something in that next to last example. If your number is too big or too small, it'll actually force it to be in scientific notation and it won't give you any other option. Now, this, note, uh, this way of doing this on the calculator is really, really nice because now we can do calculations using scientific notation just on the calculator. Here's an example. Let's say we wanted to take 8.41 uh, times, uh, or not times, let's try that again. Let's say we had 8.41 times 10 to the blank, so we'll just use the EE -E notation, times 10 to the 17th, and we wanted to multiply that times 2.2 .2 times 10 to the third, or something like that then look at what our answer would be. It would be 1.8502 times 10 to the 21st. And this answer makes perfectly good sense because think about it, 8.4 times two, or just eight times two would be 16. 8.4 times 2.2 .2 would be closer to about 18 or so. But notice that would be a little too large. And so once you adjust your decimal place, you'd call it 1.8 as opposed to 18. Now what about the times 10 to the 17th and the times 10 to the third? Well together those would make times 10 to the 20th because you add the exponents. But we see we have 21st because of the adjusted decimal place that we had to do for the 18. So it, it takes care of everything actually, even the adjusting of the decimals. So it's, it's really, really nice. Um, now sometimes you'll get scientific notation as an answer. Uh, let's say you had to do uh, I don't know, 8,399,472 times 2,754,112 or something like that. You multiply these two massively big numbers and look at the way that it expresses its answer. It says 2.3 times 10 to the 13. So sometimes you'll get this answer and say 2.3, that doesn't sound right, that's way too small. Well, if you look back here at the end, that E represents 
times 10 to the blank. And so you'll, you'll recognize numbers in scientific notation if it has this capital E here uh, on the calculator. So anyways, that's how we handle scientific notation using your calculator.